Welcome back yet to another vlog. Hope it is off to absolutely brilliant starts. Well, this is gonna be kind of an interesting vlog today, guys, because I don't usually film or train in the morning, this early in the morning. It is uh, 7.13. I was up at 5 a.m. dropping off the parents at the airport. So, safe to say this is gonna be kind of an interesting session this morning. But let's go ahead and dive into the first workout of the day. This is just not gonna be pretty. Used to be so happy, but without you here, I feel so low. I watch you as you left, but I can never seem to let you go Cause once upon a time you were my everything It's clear to see the time hasn't changed a thing It's very deep inside me, but I feel there's something you should know mm -hmm. I will never forget you You will always be by my side From the day that I met you I knew that I would love you till the day good guys I'm not feeling motivated to continue working out today I'm not feeling like 100% but do what you gotta do do what you want to do that is the motto we live by on this channel first workout is already done today we did that at 7 30 8 o'clock this morning a few more sessions today so looking forward to that no not really to be honest with you but a huge thank you to everyone who uh, bought a shirt in the first day of the website launch I was absolutely blown away by the amount of orders that we received in those first few days after we launched I've been packing shirts non-stop ever since. So a big thank you to everyone who's uh, supported the channel over the course of the past year and uh, you guys inspire me every single day to continue pursuing that pro contract. So thank you guys again so much. But a lot more to look forward to in the future. There's a lot more dropping on Monday 
programs and uh, some wristbands will be dropped on the website on the 30th of July. So in about, I guess, two days, depending on how long I edit this video for. I'm gonna say next day, hopefully I post this on a Sunday. So tomorrow. Well, obviously guys, this vlog didn't go live until uh, Monday, because now it's Sunday night. I'm just getting to uh, editing this part of the video right now. But the website itself and the wristbands, the programs will be launching on Tuesday instead of Monday. Tuesday at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when the wristbands and the programs will go live. Now, back to the vlog. The wristbands and programs will be available for you to purchase or for free on the website. So check those out and uh, make sure to get your free program tomorrow morning. But shout outs. I don't do shout outs, guys. You know that. I don't really shout out anybody besides a few friends of mine. But someone who uh, I've had a lot of respect for over the years and someone who uh, was a teammate of mine is uh, starting his own company. So make sure you show him some love on his Instagram page and uh, follow his account as he continues to build his own brand. But speaking of Instagram, make sure you guys follow me as well as I'll be posting a lot more content on that platform in the coming weeks. Moving on though, most of you guys are wondering why I'm not doing a lot of runs on the Nike Plus Run Club, why I'm not doing long distance runs, why I'm not running the track or treadmill or the road. And that's because I'm trying to maintain a certain level of my fitness. And if you start to put a lot of mileage on your legs, you'll begin to diminish your gains in the gym and on the field. So I'm doing a lot of sprint specific workouts on the pitch itself. But speaking of sprint specific training, I actually film for you guys my main workout I do in order to maintain my fitness and also improve my sprint speed. So before we continue with the vlog, let's go ahead and show this little montage of this sprint workout. Stars fall at my feet Keep me grounded as I reach Higher than I see Is there something there for me? Pulling back the rain Letting go again I'm not afraid I'm not afraid So that was the sprint workout, guys. Hopefully you comprehended and understood everything we did. But if you didn't, I'll try to explain it real quick before we move on and carry on with the vlog. There's a total of 16 reps, two sets, so eight reps each set, total of about 18 minutes. So eight reps, pause for two minutes, rest for two minutes, and then eight reps again for a total of 16 reps in two sets. One rep takes about one minute. Uh, that whole field was about 75 yards, got there in about 10 seconds, and then rested until the clock hit one minute. So say, for example, if we did it in 12 seconds, the rest period would be 48 seconds. Got it, got it good, moving on here. Got lunch in about 10 minutes and then it's time for the second workouts of the day but first grub time baby
we have made it to the final workout of the day, guys. Workout number trace, workout number three, I guess. So we're gonna try for two miles tonight at a pretty decent pace, 620, 630 per mile. Should end up at like maybe 1220, 1230 for this final two mile workout tonight. But huge congrats to Leo Evans for absolutely killing the Nike Plus run app. He's at like 100 miles and I'm at like six for this month. He's absolutely killing it. Make me look bad, keep it up, buddy. You're doing absolutely great. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get this run over with. Like we always do with this time, 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 time. With niggas a sale D, won't even get pulled over in they new V. The good life, let's go on a living spree. Shit, they say the best things in life are free. The good life, it feel like Atlanta, it feel like LA, it feel like Miami, it feel like NY. Summertime shy. I, I was feeling good up until the point of like a quarter mile left, so I thought I'd push for 12 minutes. But come to find out, I missed it by one second. Never let up the last few plays or last few seconds of a game because you never know what's going to cost you at the end of the match. I was so close. This video is pretty long, guys, I know, but I wanted to end today's video, today's vlog, with something rather important, and that is what life is like after college. There's over 460,000 student athletes in NCAA, as I said, probably in 100 different vlogs, but only 2% of those people, those athletes, will go pro in their specific sports. For the most part, I hated those stats. I absolutely hated those stats growing up. I ignored those stats, and it's something that really demotivated me when I looked at that, because it said that I wasn't going to make it. It said that I was just going to be a mediocre person that had a mediocre job, and I wasn't going to be a professional soccer player. There was commercial when I was growing up that said the exact same words, and I absolutely hated it. I hated it so much that it altered my perception of reality. Seriously, I had no intention of going to college up until the point that I was forced to go to college. Almost. If you guys have watched my soccer history video, you would know that I committed to my first school, Memphis, in May of my senior year. Everyone has a chance to make it, guys. Everyone. It just comes down to how bad you want it. There's a quote by um, Eric Thomas I've always admired over the years, and he says, if you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Some people may have a longer road to get to where they want to be, but eventually they'll get there if they keep on powering through and staying motivated and staying passionate about what they believe in. The vast majority of my friends and teammates have already given up on their sport, guys. They've already hung up the boots after not getting offers to play at the next level after they graduate college. But you guys know me, I don't give up that easy after being faced with a little adversity. This is the greatest sport in the world, not because it's the easiest to attain, but because every corner of the world wants exactly what you want. I said it before, I'll say it again, if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth it. Some people may become fitness instructors or phys ed teachers when they grow up or when they graduate college, but not me. I'm gonna be a professional footballer. 